Okay, this is going to be some uh, tips and tricks in using the jump to subroutine. Uh, here's my main ladder program that's always in ladder 2. And it's named main program by default. And if you want to add more program files to create more subroutines, you can right click here and you should have available new. Just left click new and it should let you uh, give it a different file number and then you can rename it. Well right now file 3 is called output 1 and that's right here. I'm going to double click this and rename it. I'm renaming it flasher because this subroutine is going to flash this output on and off but only when it's triggered to be scanned. So let's look at our, our main program and I'm going to rename this subroutine. I just called it flashing subroutine because when this gets triggered, when this goes true this subroutine jump will get triggered true and it's going to jump to file number U3. U is the file designation for subroutines or uh, subfiles and 3 is which file are we going to. So we're going to 3 which, which is here, ladder 3 and we renamed it Flasher. So ladder 2 is our main program, 3 is our subroutine that we're creating. So let's watch this from the main circuit. I'm going to go ahead and uh, save this. Save and save often. Now I'm going to download this. So now it's downloading to the PLC. It says, am, am I sure you're going to delete whatever's in there? Hey, your PLC's in the run mode. Do you want to switch to program mode? Yes, I do. Now it's going to complete the download. Do I want to run it again? Yep. Do I want to go online again? Yep. Now the green lines are telling me I'm online watching this in real time. Now in my main program, I'm going to trigger, I'm going to force this input to turn on. And you can see the output has been triggered. I'm going to force this input to turn on and this output is triggered. Now my flashing circuit is not being scanned at all. It's not part of the program yet. This is a status bit, a flashing bit, that I have triggered on when you're in the run mode and all it does is toggle on and off. Notice that this output is not following suit with this. This is not triggering on and off. Again, this is not part of the scan cycle yet. If I force this output on, it turns on, but this output does not. Again, this is not part of the scan sequence. So I'm going to take that force off, and I'm going to force this to come on. Now, this subroutine is being energized. This is true. It reaches here, it says jump to file 3. We go to file 3 and now notice that our flashing bit is triggering this output. It's cycling it on and off. If I force this on, now this output does get triggered. Again, we're here, scan this, trigger this, scan this is true, jump to 3, we go to 3, Scan this is true, trigger that on. This is false, so it skips this rung. And now it sees this being cycled and cycles this output on. When it reaches the end rung, it automatically will return to where it came from. And it returns just below the subroutine. So it returns here, scans this, this is true, triggers this output on. 
you can control when the program returns from the jumpers uh, jump subroutine uh, function and that's right here this is the return function if I tell the scan sequence to return here instead of at the end rung it will completely skip rung 2 let's go ahead and trigger that on and now you can see that this is still flashing but this output is no longer being triggered because once it reaches here this is true it says return it returns to here this is false this is now off goes right back up here again until it reaches here jumps out of here it does this part when it reaches here it says return so this output is never triggered as long as that's true let's remove that force now you can see we're no longer returning here, we're returning here.